everyone. Welcome to Adult Coaching. My name is Krishna Kan Singh Mundela, introducing you in Economic Dictionary English version. And in this video, we are going to discuss about interest rates versus bond prices. Before that, we should understand the one thing that there is an inverse relationship between interest rates and bond prices. Means if interest rates hikes, then bond prices will fall. And if there is a fall in interest rates, then bond prices rises. For that we should understand that suppose if there is a bond known as zero coupon bond it is having two types of values one at purchase and one at maturity suppose at purchase it costs rupees 950 zero coupon bonds are those bonds that are not returning you a kind of interest rates they are having no coupons they are fixed with a type of maturity price and in this example suppose if the zero coupon bond is of rupees 950 and at maturity we are getting rupees 1000 that means we are getting 50 rupees in hand so if a person who is purchasing zero coupon bond then what he will get from thousand rupees if we calculate he will get 5.26 percent simply 1000 minus 950 divided by 950 will give you this percentage but parallel to it something else is going on in the bond market suppose some bonds are being sold at interest rates suppose it is 10 percent which are being given in the bond market for those bonds sold on interest rates and what we are getting in this zero coupon based bonds is 5.26 percent yes so to make it 10 percent we have to fall this price by 909 rupees means from 950 now it costs 909 rupees that means our bond price goes down when the interest rate rises and if we are doing this then we can get 10 percent like these bonds take another example suppose there is a bond of percentage based suppose it is costing rupees 1000 and we are getting 4 percent return at maturity maturity could be one year or two year whatsoever be the maturity but suppose here it is 4% per annum and you are getting rupees 40 with these 1000 rupees and suppose in future the bond prices rises by 5% earlier it was 4% now it is 5% so a bond of rupees 800 after getting 5% return will give you the same amount rupees 40 that means that this 1000 rupees bond has been depreciated by 200 rupees in short these bond prices old bond prices goes down when new rise in interest rate are being introduced that's it thank you <music>